Hello, coach. Christoph Salas from Greece. Obviously, tonight is a tough night for you after that loss, but how proud do you feel about uh, the progression of your team and the resiliency that you've shown your players through the season, from the beginning until now? And uh, what, uh, How could you describe the progression, of, especially of uh, Smiley? So, uh, you know, I, I'd said before, like, we just try to install or instill some core values, you know, that would, you know, translate to stuff on and off the court and then playing for each other on the court, like really being connected on the defensive end and communicating uh, and then sharing the ball on offense and being willing to give it up so you can get it back on the second and third side. So that, I'm really proud of the guys because when we did that at a high level, nobody could beat us. And I think if we had done it a little better today, we might have a chance to win the game. Like I said, give Lakeland credit. Um, Allen, in, in terms of Allen, I, I think he, he had a lot of growth. I mean, it's not really going to be about scoring for him. It's always going to be about how can you impact the game in other ways. And so rebounding, uh, getting blocks, you know, block here and there. He had one today. He had three assists. He had eight rebounds. He went to the glass one time. He made his free throws. I mean, that's he's got to have an all-around game to be a contributor in the NBA. And he's got to continue to work to be a true professional. He's got to take care of his body. He's got to eat right. He's got to get his rest. And then he also has to know the game plan. He has to know who he's closing out to. He has to understand what the other team is trying to do to score against us. And that's pretty tough on a kid coming from Serbia that doesn't know English very well. And so give him credit for the progression that he's made. And there's more work to be done. But I'm really happy for Allen that he did get his legs under him and he was able to contribute to our success. Hey, Coach. Hey. Uh Rich with Let's Go Warriors here. I wanted to keep this topic on uh, Smiley. So I, I, I did my homework and the, he had a bad stomach uh, for the 9 and 12 minutes. And then it looked like uh, his minutes have been over 20. Last time I spoke with you, uh, you guys were keeping it under Golden State's direction around 15, 16, 17. So can you tell me about uh, the progression to the 20s with minutes and, and above? Yeah, I mean, it's really just comfort level. Um, you know, he kind of went through this a little bit last year because he was coming off injury in training camp, and we had to ease him in. Uh, and he plays hard. I mean, he gets after it. And at the same time, you know, even as a young kid that's spry and got a lot of energy, you know, you're playing hard and you just get – you just expend your, your energy. And so then he has a tendency to foul. Uh, he doesn't communicate as well because you're tired. It's hard to do when you're fatigued. Um, and then maybe you don't finish as well. Maybe you don't make the threes because you don't have your footwork or your balance. And so he's, you know, from last year to this year, and then now during this experience, he did get better and better because his conditioning improved. Um, and it goes back to the being a true professional. He's got to take care of himself. He's got to, you know, that's, you know, that might have been bad luck to, to eat something that didn't, you know, agree with his stomach. But at the same time, you get into those routines so those things don't happen. And then you can be the best player you can be on the floor and then you impact winning for your team. So I'm, I'm happy with the way Allen's progressed. Uh, I would like to think that, our, you know, the Golden State front office is proud of the way he's he's gotten better and improved. And that he's got to take that up three more notches, you know, because they're going to need at some point they're going to need help, you know, uh, with the big men. And uh, it's no reason why he can't go and contribute. But this was a great start in that direction. Thanks. Hey, Jeremy. Rich with uh, Let's Go Warriors. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't try to uh, get your take on uh, your, your first-hand take on Smiley back for the Golden State fans. So what's your experience been like with Smiley behind the scenes? Uh, I mean, his nickname is very, you know, uh, real. He's this guy who loves to smile. Um, he's a guy who's just uh, very funny and uh, – Sometimes he'll come up to me and he'll say something and he'll be like, ah, and he'll walk away and I'll be like, I didn't even, I didn't even understand or hear what you said. Um, but just like so much energy, so much like, he's just, people just like being around him and people like playing with them. And uh, I really enjoyed it. And I feel like he came here with no ego. He was coming back from a knee injury and he was just like, I'm going to make the most. I'm going to do my best minute restriction or not. Like, I'm just going to do everything that I can to help. And he plays super hard. And uh, I've never seen him get on the court once and dog it. Um, and I respect that. Cool. Uh